beyond regulations, or is yes. it just regulations? No, it's not Another just thing. regulations. What, what about beyond regulations would you well, do? Well, the week? first thing I'm going to do is revoke the Notary Public Commission of all DACA illegal aliens that have been commissioned in this state as notaries public since Obama's DACA executive order was issued in 2012. I think it's a major failing of the Secretary of State's office that these individuals who are not legal residents of the United States have become commissioned notaries public in this state against the laws of our state and it's really a problem that has set up a constitutional crisis right here in North Carolina. The deed has already been done. As soon as I revoke these commissions as Secretary of State, some liberal lawyer like Deborah Ross or Hillary Clinton or Lane Marshall is going to come sue me and claim that these illegal aliens deserve protection under the Equal uh, Protection Clause of the United States Constitution. And this case will make itself all the way to the United States Supreme Court and establish whether the open borders illegal immigration policy that Obama, and Clinton, and Ms. Marshall have advanced will become the law of the land or whether we will retain control over our borders in this country. Clearly, I'd like to respond to that. We have not, we are not issuing commission to illegal aliens. We have never commissioned anyone on a DACA card. I think this is the citizen the investigator. I the, we issue on Homeland Security employment authorizations for these people. It is federal law since 1984, Ronald Reagan time, that The federal that law is, is that a green let, card let finish applies. First, please. There are some 40 categories, green card being one of those, that our federal government evaluates the status of these people, issues that employment authorization, and since he has begun this tirade, we have investigated and all of the people we have issued not on a DACA card. We don't even have DACA card in the file on appropriate federally issued Homeland Security employment authorization, which by federal law, we cannot prevent them from being a notary if they otherwise comply. A rose by any other name is still a rose, and the employment authorization document is indeed the DACA card. No, it is on not. On the front of every employment authorization card is a code, C33, that stands for DACA individuals. That defines them as a deferred action, able to work in this country. But working in this country is different than being appointed to a ministerial office of the state government. And I believe the secretary has gone to an extreme length to accommodate these people into offices of government that they never should have been admitted to. We have confirmation from the state auditor that one of these cases did indeed go all the way through. And my question is, how many more of them are there? How many documents have these people notarized? And we've already talked about this will create a constitutional crisis related to this in the United States. Go ahead. I have here the information that he received from the state auditor at the end of last week, that there's no DACA card in this person's file, and that by her office's research, issuing them on the employment authorization is legal. We've done appropriately. Well, this is the, for all employers in the state of North Carolina, in the United States, the direction that Immigration Services gives about the employment authorization card relative to DACA arrivals that have been admitted, it clearly indicates how all of these are done, and that is the same thing as the DACA card. It just seems that y'all aren't willing to admit what it is. The Attorney General of this state has issued an opinion that what we are doing is correct, and if he has an issue with the use of the DACA card, then he needs to talk to what Governor McCourty what opinion and the was administration that? folks who are allowing these people to drive and get other permissions from the state. All right, we're almost out of time, and I, we could go rounds on this forever, but we have a, a couple minutes left, so I want to offer you both the opportunity to uh, sort of give one last plea to the voters about why uh, you should be elected, Mr. LaPaglia. Well, I'm going to restore trust and confidence to the Office of Secretary of State, which I believe has been undermined by this and other issues. There are basically two constituents that ought to be voting for me right now. The people who believe that this issue and her issuing the uh, notary certificates to illegals is not correct, and then the people who think it's the greatest immigration coup in the world. Because one way or another, I'm going to revoke those notary commissions when I'm in office. That leaves one constituency that should be voting for the Secretary of State. Her cronies and the status quo constituents that are happy with the way things are and that are gaming the system at the expense of the rest of North Carolina.